all saved up, so that's really good. Now let's go ahead and uh, go to Charms class. That's the only thing we really need to do. We have defeated the Monster Book of Monsters. Yeah, everyone is waiting for us. So uh, let's do it. Hello, class. I'm Professor Fitwick. Welcome to Charms. Today, we will learn a very useful freezing charm called Glacius. Let's see, who would like to demonstrate? Harry Potter, just the fellow. If you'd like to step through this door, we can begin the Glacius challenge. Glacius is useful for freezing a number of things, Harry. Let's begin with an Amazonian salamander, shall we? Take care now, Harry. You'll need to eliminate both the creature and its fire. Give it a try. Yeah, sure, give it a try. Just more child endangerment, and that's fine. You haven't even casted the spell once. We are already setting up a dangerous environment for you, a dangerous encounter with an Amazonian salamander. Anyways, what the game again fails to tell you, uh, forgets to tell you, is that uh, there are again ten challenge shields to collect. There are five secrets in total in this level, and uh, yeah, you know, I really do think that at some point, really, the game just forgot about. Oh yeah, there are challenge shields. Oh yeah, we'll assume the player knows that there are ten in this uh, level again. They are consistent though. There are ten, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, before I continue and progress, I have encountered a couple of technical problems sometimes when trying to cast a spell at the salamander. The game just crashes the moment the, the spell hits. Um, yeah, I don't really know what happens sometimes. Maybe you encounter the same thing, but uh, yeah, it's just trial and error. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm really hoping for this recording session that it will work. So let's do this. It's very simple. Lovely work, Harry. It's it's very simple, really. You just spam Glacius. You have to kill the salamander. You have to do two hits. First one is for freezing. The second one is just for destroying and just splitting it up into different little pieces. And then the, you also have to cast it at the fire because otherwise the salamander will respawn. So make sure you do that in time. Here's the first challenge shield, so very great. As I said, there are five different secrets to, to find. Really, those secrets are the five most easiest secrets you will encounter, really. Here's the first one already. Let's open it up. And you will find, yes, there are wizard cards to collect. And this will be the first out of uh, five uh, yes, out of five, you will find in this level, all from the same set, the famous Goblins cards. And uh, yeah, let's just continue. And before we actually continue, let's take a look at this floor effect. I really like this glowing sort of lava heat coming out from the floor. Also, one thing, if you do hear something in the background but that my microphone picks up, apologies, they are doing some construction work in my neighborhood really don't have any control over that. I can't go outside and say, hey, I'm recording here. I'm just playing a silly Harry Potter game. Now, Harry, see if you can use the Glacius spell to freeze this flowing water. Yes, yeah, so this is also something that baffles my mind. Just casting one spell. Excellent. Wow, it's solid ice. Here's the best bit, Harry. Time to go for a slide. Just use the left and right arrow keys to turn. Press the up arrow to go faster and the down arrow to slow down. Off you go. I'll see you at the end of the challenge. Yeah, this just baffles my mind. You just cast the spell once and you will be able to freeze an entire flow of water. I mean... <laughs> You haven't even practiced on water and just you'll be able to do it just fine. I mean, imagine this. Harry goes outside. Next time he casts glaciers on the entire ocean. <laughs> it's just, I'm just saying that this gets a bit ridiculous at times. Also, some weird effects you can see. So 
some purplish color at some of the icicles. Uh, I really don't know what's what's happening here really i think it's just a rendering issue maybe uh and also uh, slipping and sliding yeah sometimes it's not really my favorite segment of the game you will see there are beans scattered all around and some collectibles to find uh don't expect me to get all the beans you know just i'm, I'm gonna try to do my best but uh yeah you will see that uh slipping and sliding it's not always my favorite part of uh of any game really but here we go. So, yeah. You can steer. You can also veer off and launch yourself out of this uh, track. That's perfectly possible. And then you will just respawn. So, uh, you, will, you will not die. So, that's good. Alrighty. Let's uh, save up here. You can already take a look at the new encounters we will be facing. Let's, uh, Let's go ahead and enter the dragon's den, or the salamander's den. <laughs> yeah, really, that's just, this is the encounter, really. <laughs> it can be so fast. Also, imps! Oh no! Come on, just throw one of the wizard crackers at me. Here you go. And you're all dead. And uh, yeah, this is already secret number two. And if we open this up, yes, we will find yet another wizard card. So that's number 26 already, in total. A couple of chocolate frogs too, that's always nice, always handy. A cauldron. And you will notice, this. maybe it's just me, but I think throughout the first three Harry Potter games, whenever you have uh, to do some sort of a spell challenge with Professor Flitwick, there are always a lot of beans to collect. I think Professor Flitwick has something of a, like, sort of this thing with beans. It's just like, yes, yes, more beans. We need to fill the level with beans. <laughs> I think it's just, maybe it's just me, but I really do think it's, uh, it's a thing of his. Anyways, yes, second challenge shields and more slipping and sliding. And I think at some point we have to make a choice which direction we want to go to. Yes, that is also included in this game. Choosing your path. Oh no, I really hate that. Anyways, some beans spawning, but we cannot collect all of them. Breaking through some ice shields. I don't know what I'm saying. Cauldron cakes! I'm prioritizing cauldron cakes over pumpkin pasties. This is already the third one. It, it goes fast. You will see that the Glacier's Challenge really is a short one in comparison to Lap Force, Dracona Force, and the Carpe Retractum. Oof. Oh man, just when you think we can recover from all that slipping and sliding. Nope. No, we had to go and continue and uh, encounter some pixies. I thought we got rid of all the pixies. I thought we kill all of them. I guess some just stuck around here waiting for their next prey. Hmm, no challenge shield, but. It's pretty inconvenient. I will just drop myself to my death here. Yeah, but thankfully we can do this. And yes, this is already secret number three. Like I said, this is going at a pretty, pretty ridiculous pace. But I'm liking it, you know? I mean, it's fast progress. Now here is a uh, rather unique treasure chest. It closes again. You cannot open it anymore. It's strange. But yeah, here we go. Already our next wizard card number 27 a couple of uh, cauldron cakes too 51 cauldron cakes i'm pretty happy with that you know I'm, I'm thinking that perhaps we might go to the bean bonus room next yeah that's that's a pretty good uh, progress okay let's line ourselves up for this jump yes making sure i got that one number four short slip and slide and yeah, like I said, you know, if you're just very good at spamming and aiming, <laughs> then these encounters really mean nothing, really. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyways, uh, hmm, challenge shield, but how do I get that one? It has to come from here, I suppose, or I have to drop myself here, or whatever, whatever works. 
But we have to cast the Pulso, and then it will appear. And you will see that these two armor sets, they really drop a lot of beans. A lot more than their uh, equivalent. Yeah, add some uh, pump capacities. Really good. So yeah, it's, it's, this really makes this game a whole collector's fest, and I'm loving it. Uh, let's save up. Yeah, so we're all saved up. My game crashed actually when I saved here, so you won't get to hear the safe jingle, as I like to call it. But uh, hopefully you won't notice. If I haven't told you, you wouldn't have noticed, would you? Nah, actually you would. You're smarter than that. I know you are. Anyways, let's line ourselves up for this jump. And let's do some more slip and sliding. I'm gonna go to the right. Like I said, the right has some interesting things to collect. Cauldron cakes and a challenge shield. That was really difficult. You could hear it in my voice. I was in pain. So yeah, the game uh, loads up a new section, I forgot to tell you, as I was uh, slip and sliding and uh, being in pain from uh, collecting cauldron cakes and uh, a challenge shield while on ice. Yeah, that's just uh, another thing that you... Not a sentence that you say every day. Anyways... Uh, whoa, pixies. More, more pixies. Get out of here. The cutscene will appear. I like it that you can actually see the pixies drop during that cutscene. That's uh, really neat. Also, I have this thing that I need to tell you. If this floor is glowing and it's hot and it's warm, why would you place chocolate frogs here? They will melt. It will be a puddle of chocolate. It's just, yeah, it's not good. I'll take the frog though. I mean, hey, you know, it's it's here. <laughs> um, saving? Not yet. Not yet. We're gonna go collect beans that have magically appeared. And of course, we have to kill ourselves. An Amazonian salamander. That will make a sponge vitale appear. And a new secret. Secret number four already. And if we uh, stand over here, we will see pff, that there's a lot of things to collect in here. There is a cauldron cake. There is a pumpkin pasty. There is a buttload of beans. It's just perfect. Now, if we stand over here, that really wasn't supposed to happen, but it was a very nice parkour uh, jump. I was about to say, this is a pressure plate, and it will make uh, new platforms appear. <laughs> Just the fact that we bounced all over the place, yeah, that really wasn't supposed to happen. Now, this is not a secret, but important, of course, very important. You know, more and more collectibles, they're important, man. We need to get them all. Now we have to go over to this side. No beans, though, that spawn. It's a bit of a problem. But uh, yeah, like I said, that chocolate frog, you will melt. You will just... Yeah, now, I, now I've cooled the place. So now it's fine, but you would have been a puddle of chocolate, my friend. Yes, you would. Um, anything else to do in here? No. Let's, uh, let's continue. That's yet another pressure plate and another uh, chest to open. This one, this one is really important. Like I said, this one, whew, important. Number 28 and I think number four in this challenge level. Yes, good, good, good. Now I think it's time to uh, actually save up. We have to go this way, so I'm gonna save up looking that way. Alrighty, uh, one little nasty thing, <laughs> the, the staircase doesn't go all the way through, so there is a gap. So you have to mind the gap and jump over it. Here we go. And, ugh, it's really, just really. <sighs> just get out of here. Nah. There we go, nope, I'm not gonna touch this one. I'm happy the way I am right now. Alright. 
Uh, yep, that was one. Okay, it's a little chaotic. Yeah, just, just stand in a bunch. That'd be great. Alrighty. We cannot make this jump, so we do have to go over here. Have to align ourselves with the jump. Yes, and that is good. Number seven already. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Yes. And this will be secret number five. I was a bit worried if I missed the secret, but no, it's right here. These are all the secrets that we have found. And yet again, a whole bunch of pumpkin pasties, cauldron cakes. It beans, 61 cauldron cakes. Yes, I'm, I'm a very happy man at this moment. Let's open this up. More beans, sure. But why not? Oh, and pumpkin pasties. It's, it's really just so many things to collect. It's insane. Let's try to save up here and, yeah, not crash the game. Let's, uh, let's try that. Right, that worked this time around so that's good now this will actually be the last slip and slide section of the game you will notice that there are two challenge shields to collect while you're slipping and sliding and jumping and doing all things all over the place and then the last one will just be waiting for you at the end so uh, th there are two challenge shields to collect yes and then there's one wizard card yes there is a wizard card somewhere along these tracks, along this ice uh, skating rig thing, Jake. I'm, I'm just not really looking forward to this. Okay, well, let's do this. Beans! Pumpkin pasties, go to the right! Take it back now, yo! One hop this time! <sighs> that reference never gets old. Anyways, here we go. That's challenge shield number eight. Really good. I'm gonna... Nah, I cannot do that. I cannot get that pumpkin pasty. It'll be the death of me. Alrighty. And another choice we have to make, I think, at some point. First, let's try to get all these pumpkin pasties. Good, good, good. Here's the wizard card. Let's not get ourselves off the tracks. Good. And now for the most difficult jump. There's that challenge shield. It's going left and right. We have to time it. Oof. That was that was really it. <sighs> I have to catch my breath here. <laughs> Anyways, 2,500 beans. Uh, here's the last challenge shield. All five versus cards. I consider that a success. Excellent job, Harry. You've completed the Glacius Challenge. Not only that, you managed to get all ten challenge shields. You know what that means. The Bean Bonus Room. Have fun, Harry. Wow, this is the Bean Bonus Room. That's right, Harry. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out. I'm going to say it again. There's no strategy. Actually, there's a little bit of a strategy. Again, prioritizing cauldron cakes. But you all knew that. So I'm gonna go and uh, do the crisscrossing uh, SpongeFi jumps here. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna go this way. Why not? I mean, uh, we have to make it interesting. To make the series a bit interesting. We have to have a little bit of variety. Do I have a goal with regards to uh, how many uh, beans I want at the end of this? No, not really. I'll be happy with any amount. I'm just gonna trigger this first. Then we're gonna go. That was a bad move. But let's open these treasure chests then. That should be good. So we're gonna go and collect all of these little goodies later on. There we go. Spongify here. And pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, then let's go uh, down here. That was a bit painful. Let's go ahead and uh, 
go here. I'd like some more beans. What I'm really hoping for is that it's gonna... That we're gonna see some more collectibles uh, again at the main uh, at the main hallway of the bean donors room. Here we go. I have triggered it. That's what I want. I want it to rain beans again and cauldron cakes. I hope. Yes. Here we go. So we're gonna have the same challenge again. Can I collect all that there is to collect? I only see two cauldron cakes. That's a bit of a disappointment, really. But, you know, okay, I'll take it. Let's go here and craft those two pumpkin pasties. So, how was it? You can freeze things now. I can slide everywhere. Oh, wicked. And salamanders the size of Hagrid. The blue or the scarlet variety. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. You can have another go at the Glacier's Challenge if you want, Harry. Or we can come back later. So yeah, that was the challenge. And of course, we are back here. You know what that means. The game only loads up this part of the map. And let's try to get 3,000 beans right now. I didn't have a goal before. I was just really focused on getting all the culture cakes. But I think we have a good amount. We really do have a comfortable amount. And of course, we're not done with this game yet. Of course not. <laughs> There's so much more to do. So, uh, 3,000. Approaching. Here we go. Yep. So, now let's go ahead and do the next section of the game. <laughs> 